What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Bus Sports TV, back at y'all with another one. So, Earl the Truth Spence Jr., unified welterweight superstar boxer, has confirmed he will be back January 20, 25th, as was scheduled and reported, and the opponent will be Danny Swift Garcia. Um, we know that um, Terrence Crawford obviously will not be available, you know, uh, um, January 25th as he's fighting December 14th. Uh, Showtime Sean Porter, you know, uh, it was has been confirmed that that's not an option for Errol Spence Jr. in the rematch. And so it looks like Errol the True Spence Jr. will be pushing forward and facing Danny Swift Garcia, former two-division world champion, former WBC uh, um, welterweight world champion, uh, Danny Swift Garcia. He lost that title to uh, Keith One Time Thurman, and Keith One Time Thurman became unified, holding the WBA and the WBC. Now, uh, um, Errol the Truth Spence Jr. holds those titles, and it's looking like uh, the people and the fans were calling for a rematch with Showtime Sean Porter, as that was a fight of the year, uh, instant classic bout. Um, now it seems like um, he will be pushing forward and facing Danny Garcia, as that was reported. Danny Swift Garcia jumped in the ring after Sean Porter um, and Errol Spence uh, dueled it out in an instant classic and said that he wanted Errol Spence next. Um, and it seems like uh, Errol Spence is going to give him what he's asking for. January 25th, Fox pay-per-view. You're going to see Earl the True Spence Jr. versus Danny Swift Garcia. I know a lot of people are not happy with it. It's a consolation prize. Everybody wants to see Errol Spence versus Terrence Crawford, or they want to see Errol Spence versus um, uh, Danny Garcia. You, I, I mean, Sean Porter in an immediate rematch. Uh, this is a consolation prize. At the very least, is number three on the um, pecking uh, on pecking order. You know, as to far as far as what bouts you want to see Errol Spence in. But at the end of the day, we're going to get what we get. And Danny Swift Garcia is not a, um, a, a cherry pick. You know, uh, it's not a walk in the park. It's not a foregone conclusion that it's not going to be a tough, grueling fight for Errol Spence. Uh, the betting odds came out already um, that uh, Danny Garcia has uh, bet better odds to beat Errol Spence than Showtime Sean Porter did. Uh, Sean Porter was minus 1,000 and minus 800 as Danny Garcia opens up as a minus 600. So that means that uh, Las Vegas uh, bookies and bet nods feel like that Danny Swift have, Garcia has a better chance of beating Errol Spence. And they um, cited the reason that uh, uh, Errol Spence struggled with Sean Porter, so his stock um, somewhat dropped. Is This is according to Vegas um, um, uh, odds makers, right? And so with that said, you know, uh, this is still a very close fight. You know, um, it's still a very good fight, in my opinion. I think that Danny uh, Garcia's style is more tailor-made for um, Errol Spence than that of um, Sean Porter's. You know, pressure, you know, um, inside, grueling. Sean Porter has better footwork. He's quicker. He's, he has more fast-twitch muscles than Danny Garcia. He's a better athlete than Danny Garcia. But Danny Garcia has more power, right? Uh, Danny Garcia has you know, um, uh, uh, stunning power, right? So, and he has a left, in both hands, left hook and straight right, right? His counter straight right. So, Danny Garcia has uh, punching power. So, you know, uh, and he's flat-footed as well. So, you know, it's a, it's a chance that this could be a barn burner as well. There's a strong chance, you know? So, I know a lot of people are not going to be happy with this decision because it's more of a, more so, like I said, a consolation prize, you know, uh, it's not truly what you wanted. But it's still a good fight, so respect it. You know what I mean? I, listen, I'm going to watch it. I'm not going to say I'm not going to watch it. I'm not going to say I'm not going to support it. I'm going to support it. I'm going to watch it because I love the sport of boxing. And I still think that this is going to be a, a great fight. You know, um, is it Terrence Crawford, Errol Spence? Nope. It's not the namesake. Is it Sean Porter rematch? Nope. Uh, it's not. But you know what? Danny Garcia is outside of Keith Thurman, outside of Errol Spence, outside of Sean Porter, outside of Terrence Crawford. What bigger name can it be for Errol Spence to fight? So we got to take that into consideration. But uh, nonetheless, January 25th, Fox pay-per-view. Seems like it's going to be Brooklyn Barclays Center. Danny Swift Garcia will be challenging Errol the True Spence Jr. for his unified titles. 
And this is a mandatory for Errol Spence, not, not to mention that this is a mandatory. So if he wanted to go into a fight with Terrence Crawford in 2020, uh, um, in mid to, you know, maybe the summer of 2020, he would have to had satisfied his mandatory anyway. Uh, if he would have went to a voluntary fight, you know, um, then Danny Garcia would have been pushing uh, uh, for the mandatory showdown after his voluntary fight. So uh, Terrence Crawford obviously is not going to be ready to at least March. So why not just push it back to December? I mean, to the summer, uh, July, something like that, right? Because Terrence Crawford is fighting in December. So if he's fighting in December, why not Errol Spence just go ahead and get his mandatory out the way and while doing so, fighting a big name in Danny Swift Garcia, right? So that way, now when Terrence Crawford is available, Errol Spence is available, the big fight could happen, there's no mandatories or anything standing in the way. So you got to look at it from that standpoint as well. But that's all I got for y'all. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy Blue, Blue Buzz Sports TV. Hey, like, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the bell icon to get all the new notifications. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Buzz Sports TV. All one word. Y'all already know what it is. Shout out to the entire LDBC. Shout out to New Media. Shout out to Black Media Raw. Make sure you like and share these videos. That's all I got for y'all. Peace.